dear students i welcome you in the third lecture on measures of central tendency in this lecture we will study three types of data let us study these data so there are three types of data the first type of data is raw data in raw data individual observations are listed their frequencies are not given we simply have a list of observations as an first example of raw data consider the data of runs scored by a batsman in cricket tournament in first match the batsman scored 12 runs in second last match he scored 9 runs and in last match he scored 3 runs so here simply a list of observations is given like we have 12 78 112 45 23 67 9 and 3 simply a list of observations that is raw data consider the second example of raw data here is the data of consumption of electricity in units of a family in one year so it is consumption of electricity in units of one family in one year there are 12 months in one year and monthly consumption of electricity units is given in the first month family consumed 120 units of electricity in the second last month family consumed 87 units of electricity and in the last month family consumed 145 units of electricity so here simply we are having list of observations and this type of data is called raw data now second example or second type of data is ungrouped frequency distribution in ungrouped frequency distribution individual values of observations are given with their frequencies what is the frequency of observation number of times observation is repeated is called frequency of that observation so here let us see first example of ungrouped frequency distribution in ungrouped frequency distribution observations and frequencies are given individual observations like 0 1 2 etc are given in this example this is the data of football matches played in a tournament number of goals and number of matches observations and their frequencies we may denote observation by x and frequency by f so observation x say 4 is having frequency 17 what it means it means that the observation 4 is repeated 17 times that is there are 17 matches in which four goals are scored so ungrouped frequency distribution is also called discrete discrete means individual or separate separate observations are given like 0 1 2 3 here let us see second example of ungrouped frequency distribution here some viva is conducted in a classroom it is of five marks marks and number of students are given so possible values of marks are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 number of students 
are also given 2 6 19 32 23 and 4 so x denotes observation and f denote frequency my question is what is meaning of the fact that observation x that is 3 is having 32 in this case so it means that observation 3 is repeated 32 times in other words there are 32 students who scored 3 marks so there are 32 students who scored 3 marks The note that individual or separate values are given again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and their frequencies. So again this is an example of ungrouped frequency distribution. Third type of data is group frequency distribution. In group frequency distribution groups of values of observations are given these groups of values of observations are called classes and their frequencies are given so here we are having classes and their frequencies so age is age group is class and Number of workers is frequency. So these are classes and the second row represents frequencies. This is the data of employees in a company. So it means that there are 89 employees having age between 30 and 40. It is inclusive of 30 but exclusive of 40. So, number of employees having age lay greater or equal to 30 but less than 40 is 89 because this is an exclusive type of classification. In exclusive type of classification, upper limits of classes are not included. Okay. Let us see second example of group frequency distribution. In group frequency distribution, groups of values of observation that is classes are given with their frequencies. So here these are classes and what are their frequencies? Their frequencies are in this case 2, 6, 19, 32 and 23. This is the data of some examination of 50 marks conducted for certain class. So marks and number of students. What is frequency of class? It is number of observations that appear in the class. For example, there are 19 students who scored between 20 and 30. That is marks greater equal to 20 but less than 30 it is not equal to 30 here because 30 is not included here in the upper limit okay so remember three basic types of data the first is raw data in raw data simply individual observations are listed there is simply a list of observations the second type of data is ungrouped frequency distribution. In ungrouped frequency distribution, individual values of observations are given with their frequencies. Like we have individual observations 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And their frequencies are given say 3, 6, 9, 12, 17 and 4. The third type of data is group frequency distribution it is groups of values of observations with the, their frequencies for example these are groups or classes and their frequencies are given 
so three types of data raw data ungrouped frequency distribution and group frequency distribution let us see how to draw histogram for equal classes for group frequency distribution what do you mean by equal classes equal classes means classes having equal width or equal class interval so histogram is also called as bar graph histogram is also called as bar graph in histogram classes are given and their frequencies are given i mean in group frequency distribution classes and their frequencies are given so this is the data of marks and number of students of certain examination for drawing histogram we have to draw bars or rectangles and rectangles are classes which are represented on x axis and frequencies are nothing but heights of rectangles and they are represented on y axis classes have to be equal means their width should be equal what is class width of this class 70 to 80 it is 80 minus 70 that is equal to 10 upper limit minus lower limit gives class width or class interval you can observe that every class for example last class 90 to 100 also has class width 10 it is 100 minus 90 which is equal to 10 so let us see the example we have to draw histogram for this data it is group frequency distribution marks and number of students are given consider the class 50 to 65 sorry 50 to 60 and it is having frequency 65 so the class 50 to 60 is having frequency 65 it means that there are 65 students who obtained marks between 50 and 60 on x axis classes are represented on y axis frequencies are given the classes or the rectangles are drawn with this fact base is equal to class and height is equal to frequency height is equal to frequency of rectangle so consider this rectangle it is class 50 to 60 and its height is 65 its height is 65 here so in this way this rectangle is drawn its base is class 50 to 60 and its height is 60 to 65 in this fashion all classes with their frequencies are plotted and this gives us histogram so remember how to draw histogram for group frequency distribution with equal classes we have to draw bars or rectangles and base of rectangle is class and its height is frequency okay Thank you